citric acid cycle. It is the central catabolic pathway used to generate ATP by means of oxidation of acetate. Finally, that acetate is converted into carbon dioxide and water. Each turn of the cycle produces one GTP molecule as well as three NADH, one FADH2 and two carbon dioxides. Here, one NADH is equal to 2.5 ATP equivalents and one FADH2 is equal to 1.5 ATP equivalents. However, because of the energy expenditure required to shuttle NADH and FADH to the electron transport chain, each turn through the citric acid cycle yields approximately 3 NADH versus 2.5 is 7.5 ATP equivalents and 1 FADH2 that is 1.5 and 1 GTP is equal to 1 ATP. So, the total number of ATPs produced in one citric acid cycle is 10. So, here the citric acid cycle or the trigorboxylic acid cycle or the Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. Citrate synthetase is the enzyme that catalyzes the transfer of two carbon acetyl group from the acetyl CoA to oxaloacetate forming the six carbon molecule in the first reaction called as citrate. So, here the citrate synthetase is inhibited by ATP, NADH, succinyl CoA and it is stimulated by insulin and the citrate synthetase is a rate limiting step of the TCA cycle. So, strongly exergonic step and it is regulatory point in the cycle and uh, after the citrate synthase, the next step is the aconitase. Aconitase is the enzyme which catalyzes the isomerization of the citrate into isocitrate and fluoroacetate, a metabolic poison inhibits the enzyme aconitase. And next is isocitrate dehydrogenase. This enzyme catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of isocitrate into alpha ketoglutarate. Here NAD plus is converted into NADH and the first molecule of carbon dioxide is released in the cycle. It is also a key regulatory step that is stimulated by the ADP that is low energy state and inhibited by the ATP and NADH which is the high energy state. So, this alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex converts alpha ketoglutarate into succinyl CoA. So, here also the NAD is converted into NADH and the second molecule of the carbon dioxide is produced in the reaction. So, it is a regulatory step and generates a four carbon chain that is coenzyme A is included in the reaction and requires many coenzymes including vitamin B1, B2, B3 coenzyme A as well as the lipoic acid. So, not important point over here that the same cofactors are required in the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So, the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase is inhibited by NADH, succinyl CoA, ATP and GTP. So, the succinyl CoA synthase converts succinyl CoA into succinate and coenzyme A, which is the substrate level phosphorylation where GTP is produced and finally, one GTP is converted into ATP and the succinate dehydrogenase complex catalyzes the oxidation of succinate to fumarate in the step FAD is converted into FADH2 and the mitochondrial fumarase converts fumarate to malate and at last the enzyme called as malate dehydrogenase oxidizes malate to oxaloacetate and the cycle can begin anew. So, and here third NADH molecule is produced from the NAD and this is what is about the citric acid cycle.